Hello and welcome to another Algebra 1 video tutorial in 10.3 will be some more uses of substitution which you learn in section 2. Our goal will be to solve systems in which one of the equations in the system is in slope intercept form or at least it has y equals or one variable equal by itself essentially um, and but the other one is not in that form. And if it's not in that form, it can easily be put in that form. So the big idea, substitution is a reasonable method to solve systems whenever you can, whenever you can easily solve for one variable in an equation, or it, one of them already is in that form. So let's look at an example. So see in this system here, x plus y equals 8 and y equals negative 3x, one of these equations is y equals, or it has a variable by itself, okay? And that's what we're going to substitute. We know what y equals, it's negative 3x. We're going to substitute that in where we see y in the other equation, um, like so here. So we're going to go x plus y. Now it's one y, so it's just one of these negative 3x's equals 8. Okay, so we've taken what y is here, and we've substituted it, substituted it right there. Okay, so we end up, and the reason for that is so we can solve an equation with just one variable. So now we're going to go x plus negative 3x is negative 2x, and negative 2x equals 8. One step to solve that, divide by negative 2, divide both sides by negative 2, and we end up with x equals negative 4. Now that I know x is negative 4, I would probably use the bottom equation because it appears to be the easiest. Not that the top one would be difficult either, but it's already y equals. So I'm going to say y equals negative 3 times x, which I just found was negative 4, and that gives me 12. y equals 12. So my solution in ordered pair would be negative 4, 12 as, a, as an ordered pair. And we could check that. Negative 4 plus 12 is 8, and 12 does equal negative 3 times negative 4. So it, it, it checks out as well. But this is a, another use for substitu substitution. All right, use substitution to find the solution to this system. We have n plus 5w equals 6, and, and n equals negative 8w. So that's what we're going to substitute. We have one equation has a variable by itself, and that's n. So where we see n in the other equation, we're going to replace in eight, negative 8w. So right here, there is one n, so I'm just going to have one of these, negative 8w. So negative 8w plus 5w equals 6, and negative 8. And so we have an equation which is one variable. I can solve that for w. I'm going to get negative 3w equals 6. Divide both sides by negative 3, and I'm going to end up with w equals negative 2. I'd probably use the bottom equation to figure out what n is. I'm going to say n is negative 8 times negative 2, so n is equal to 16. And that's going to give me, uh, as an ordered pair, like I said, alphabetical order probably, n, w, and n is first, so 16, comma, negative 2 as an ordered pair. And we can check that real quick. 16 plus 5 times negative 2, so 16 plus negative 10 is 6, and does 16 equal negative 8 times negative 2? And yes, it does. All right, let's say someone had told you, I have only dimes and quarters in my pocket. They're worth $3.85, and then I have 14 fewer quarters than dimes. How many of each coin do I have? Okay, we'll set up a system of equations and use substitution to solve something some scenario like this. All right, so we have three dollars and eighty-five cents. Three dollars eighty-five cents, and that's going to be ten cents for times the number of dimes, plus twenty-five cents times the number of quarters. Okay, so let's say d is the number of dimes. We'll times it by ten cents, plus q is the number of quarters. We'll times it by a quarter. And uh, that's going to equal a total of $3.85. Now the next one, I have 14 fewer quarters than dimes. Okay, So that means the number of quarters is going to be 14 fewer than the number of dimes. So we're going to take the dimes minus 14. I have 14 fewer quarters than dimes. So take the dimes minus 14. Or you could go the number of quarters plus 14 equals D, but it, it doesn't matter. It would work either way. The point is, we have a system with one variable by itself, so that's what we're going to substitute to solve this. Okay, so I need to substitute q into this equation with the quantity d minus 14. So I'm going to say 3.85 equals 0.1d 
plus 0.25q. Now this is where I replace q with the quantity d minus 14. All right, now we have an equation with just vari the variable d. So we're gonna end up solving for dimes first. So let's simplify this as much as we can and start solving here. All right, so 0.1d plus, now I'm gonna distribute, remove the parentheses here. So it'll be plus 0.25d and then a fourth of 14 would be three and a half. Now we'll go ahead and uh, maybe add the d's together here. So I'd end up with 3.85. equals, well, we can add the d's, so 0.35d minus 3.5. We're gonna need to add 3.5 to both sides so we can start getting d by itself. Okay, and that's gonna give me uh, $7.35 is equal to 0.35d. Divide both sides by 0.35. And then 7.35 divided by 0.35 is 21. So that means we have 21 dimes. 21 dimes. How many quarters? Well, since we know the number of dimes, we're gonna take 21 minus 14. So the number of quarters is gonna be 21 minus 14 is equal to seven. So seven quarters. So 21 dimes and seven quarters. So there's a difference of 14, so he has 14 fewer quarters than dimes, and if you figure out the worth of these, uh, uh, $2.10 plus um, seven quarters would be $1.75, and that adds up to 3.85. So it does check out if we're checking our solution, which I would hope you do check your solution to get these type of problems right. All right, and find an equation of the line that passes through the points 326 and negative 2, 1. All right, now this is a chapter six problem, but we're gonna solve it in a, u a unique way uh, using a system of equations. So remember, a line is of the form, or can be of the form in slope intercept, y equals mx plus b. So let's use these y x and y values to figure out the slope and the y-intercept. So on my first one with three and 26, uh, three is my x, 26 is my y. So I'm gonna say 26 equals mx, so m times three, so let's say three m plus b. The other one, one is my y, negative two is my x, so I'm gonna say negative two m plus b. Okay, now, this one isn't necessarily set up for substitution right away, so we need to solve, either solve both of these for B or at least one of them for B, and it doesn't matter what you do. It'd be pretty easy to solve both of them for B and then set them equal to each other to use substitution. So all we need to do is subtract 3M from both sides, so that's gonna be 26 minus 3M equals B. Add 2M to this one, so it's gonna be one plus 2M equals B there's how my new system is gonna look. All right, they're both equal to B now, so I could have solved one of them and replaced B, but it was pretty easy to solve both of them for B since they were one B and one B. So now I'm gonna set the equations equal to each other and or use substitution, uh, which essentially is setting them equal to each other. 26 minus three M equals one plus two M. First step I'd probably do is add three M to both sides and I'm gonna end up with 26 equals one plus five M. I'd probably subtract one from both sides, so I end up with 25 equals five M. Divide by five, so five equals M, meaning my slope of my line is five. Now that I know that, I would probably use the second equation to figure out what B is, which is the y-intercept. So one plus two times five is equal to the y-intercept. So 10 plus one is 11. So the y-intercept is 11. Now, my equation, or my answer, would be y equals mx, so 5x plus b, which is 11. So there would be an equation of the line that passes through those two points, and it'd be a pretty easy check. So you'd go five times three 
plus 11, that's 26, that works out. And 5 times negative 2, so negative 10 plus 11 is 1, so it, it will pass through both of those points. So kind of a unique way to find an equation of a line that passes through two points rather than finding the slope the old-fashioned way and the y-intercept the old-fashioned way. You can use a system of equations if you so chose choose to. All right, that wraps this up. Your assignment will be 10-3, page 598, 2 to 22 evens. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.